Bolt just launched a brand new tool that allows you to build any app or any website with just one click for free. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to use it. I'm gonna compare it to a few other tools that also do the same thing. And I'm gonna give you five viral app ideas that if you create one of these, you could get rich. Okay, now in order to use Bolt, this is actually incredibly simple. You literally just come to bolt.new and you can get started with this right away. This is the page that you are going to see. I am logged in here, so if I come over here, we could see a bunch of things. For example, if we come into settings right here, we could change the appearance of this. I could delete any chats that I want. We could see the editor right here. I could add team members if I wanted to. We could see how many tokens I have. We could see that I am on a free plan right here. A bunch of other applications that I will be able to link this to, for example, Figma, Superbase, Netlify, come to feature previews. If we want to turn this on, we could do this, but you can only do this with a paid account. Also, you could come into knowledge right here and put in a project prompt, and you can also give it a global system prompt. Essentially, these are going to be default instructions that Bolt is going to follow in every single conversation. And this one right here is a project specific instructions that Bolt will follow when working on a specific project. You can also come into network right here and then come into backups. So you can have a bunch of backups here. But basically, this is how Bolt works. You literally just tell it what you want and it goes ahead and does it. Check this out. So if we type in a prompt here, and by the way, the more specific you make the prompt, the better it's going to be, the better the app that it's actually going to build. We just type in a simple prompt, like make me an app that allows me to track when I take my GLP one shots. That is literally all you have to do, both for an app or a website, just specify exactly what you want built. This is gonna go ahead, start thinking, and then from here, it's going to start coding it out with no other input. Now let's contrast that to Firebase Studio and to Replit, which you can also get started with both of these for free. If we come over to Firebase right here, we can give it the same exact prompt. Make me an app that allows me to track when I take my GLP-1 shots. Now, when we click on prototype right here, what you're going to notice is that we are going to have to agree to some stuff. And if we use Replit, we can use the same exact thing. Make me an app that allows me to track when I take my GLP-1 shots. We're gonna click start building here gonna come back over here. So we actually have to agree to all this, the color, the layout, animation, all that, boom, prototype this app. Replit is very similar. It is also going to ask us for some stuff. It is going to build out a plan. Now, if we come over to Bolt, what you'll notice is it didn't ask us for anything else, but it did go ahead and say, okay, these are the core features. These are the design elements. And now it's going through and it is immediately coding all those things. We could set up integrations up here. We could deploy it from up here. We could export it if we wanted to from right here. You can also have this optimize your prompts and if you wanted to, you could upload photos or a PDF or something along the lines of that. So if we come over to Replit right here, we will see that we also have to approve all of this. So one of the biggest differences is that with Bolt, you don't have to approve anything. It's truly one click. With Firebase Studio, we had to approve things. And with Replit, we also had to approve things. Now, Firebase Studio is done the quickest, by far the quickest. But what you're going to notice is that this isn't really that good. I mean, this is kind of like incredibly basic right here. Again, if we are just prototyping an app, Firebase is going to be good for that. Um, if we come over to Replit right here, we'll see that this is now building this out. This is a lot quicker than Bolt in a lot of cases, but you'll see is that Bolt is going to build out the entire thing and then it's going to allow us to preview it where Replit is just going through. And then what Replit does is it gets two different finished parts and then it says, hey, this is finished. Do you want to keep proceeding? But again, Bolt doesn't do that. This is going to build out the entire app and then it's going to show us exactly what it's built. Now, before we get into those five viral app ideas and I show you the finished product from all these, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest AI tools. I upload videos like this every single day and you're not going to want to miss them. In addition to that, if you're trying to automate your work with AI, you want to make more money with AI, or you want personalized feedback from me on exactly what tools you should be using or different work cases and workflows, I strongly suggest that you go to the pinned comment below and check out AI Automation School. I just launched it, people are loving it, and it's the cheapest that it's ever going to be right now. Now, in fact, the price is going up this weekend. So if you're interested, I'd strongly suggest you check it out. Okay, so in terms of what this actually looks like now, we could see that this is done. We have our GLP-1 medication tracker. We could track our first injection. So we could click lock injection. We could put the time. We could put the injection site. We could put any notes. And then we can save this right here. And as we could see, there's an error saving this. So what is this going to do? It is going to detect 
that there is a problem and it is going to go ahead and it is going to attempt to fix it. Now, if I had to guess the reason that this is having a problem is it just hasn't built out the database yet that that is then going to get saved to. Again, if we come over here while this is going ahead and trying to actually fix the problem, and as you can see, literally just comes in here and recodes the form right here. If we come over here to GLP one shot tracker, we will see that this is also done. We could click here, we can confirm, boom. And then this also, again, didn't log because we have to actually build out the database for all these things. This is just the front end that we're looking at. If we come over here, we could see what Replit built. We see that this has an adherence rate, current streak, recent activity. We could click on this to be able to view all the different recent activity. If we come up here, we could set a reminder. We could take now, or we could click around and actually see what this does. Now, as we could see, I'm clicking around. This also did not install the database yet. So obviously, if you're building an app with these tools, you're going to have to go back and forth with them. First, you need to approve the front end, the same that you would with a regular developer. Then you're gonna to have to test it all out and you could keep going back and forth, which is nice because you literally just have to chat with this and this will go ahead and try to fix all these different errors. As we could see, this is still going through and this is still updating, but essentially you would just keep going back and forth with this and you could build out any app that you want so long as you keep going back and forth with it and fixing mistakes. You could have it change the design elements. You could have it change different features. You could have it add different features, which is really crazy because in the past, you literally would have had to pay like tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars to get to the point that you're able to get to with these apps right here without knowing how to code. And again, you could come up here, you can add any integrations that you want. You can deploy this if you want. Literally, you would just click on this and you would be able to deploy it. And you can actually deploy it to Netly and go ahead and actually do that. And that's pretty much all you have to do. And again, with these websites, besides Firebase with Bolt and with Replit right here, you're going to be able to build out apps and websites and be able to deploy them pretty much immediately. Now, like I promised you before, I wanted to give you five viral no-code app ideas. First one is going to be an AI tattoo designer. I don't know about you, but I have a bunch of tattoos. Some of them I do regret. So you could de-risk getting a tattoo by building an app for this. You then would be able to upload your body part. You'd be able to try on a custom design before getting it permanently, and you'd be able to see whether or not you actually want to get the tattoo. The second idea here is building a children's book generator or a coloring book generator. Essentially what this is allowing you to do is input a story idea or create one with AI or select random ones and then you would actually be able to build from that a children's book based on it or a coloring book generator that they would then be able to print out and would be able to use right here. Now, all of these different apps that I'm sharing with you, these are all going to be subscription ideas. If you build one of these out, I would make it a subscription. I would start making TikToks for it, Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels. I would post on YouTube Shorts and stuff like this it goes viral like crazy. In fact, if you literally just come over here and do a very simple search for AI no-code apps, you could literally come through here and read a bunch of different success stories. If you come under news over here and see a bunch of people that were able to do this and make a ton of money for this because it's pretty crazy what you're able to do now. Now, idea number three is going to be a viral meme creator. Essentially, meme marketing goes viral. It goes viral on TikTok, it goes viral on Facebook, it goes viral on LinkedIn, it goes viral on X, it goes viral on Instagram. How great would it be if you were able to describe your absurd idea and then get an ultra specific meme specific to that for your niche that you would be able to post or that a bunch of different creators would be able to post? People would love this. They love sharing memes in group chats. I'm sure people share memes with you all day long, so why not facilitate people being able to do that again? for a subscription free. The next one is going to be a product mock-up app. Essentially, early stage sellers, if they're selling something on Amazon, they're selling something on eBay, they're creating their own e-commerce store, they can't afford photographers, they can't afford professional renders. So why not allow you to upload an image and give it a prompt and then it auto generates that idea on mugs, on shirts, on packaging, and even changes out the models for it. You would be able to build this out pretty simply. And then on top of that, the last one is going to be ad creative generation for D2C and e-com brands. Essentially, there are tons and tons of brands. If you go on TikTok, you go on Instagram, you go on Facebook, you go on LinkedIn, you go on X, you're going to be getting hit with ads from D2C and e-commerce brands. This is how they make money. For example, 
This brand right here makes over $100 million a year simply by making Facebook and Instagram ads. Well, that's how they started. Now they sell in dicks and there's a lot more going on to that. But you understand what I'm saying here. They need to be able to increase their CTR, which is click-through rate, the amount of things that people click on, and ROAS, the amount of money that they make every time they run an ad by constantly changing creatives. Because if you saw this same hat over and over again, guess what would happen? You would have ad fatigue to that and then you would stop interacting with it. So they need to constantly be uploading things by generating new backgrounds, new models, new settings, or seasonal variants. And you could create an app that allows them to do that incredibly easy. And then again, charge a subscription for that. Now, if you like this video, you're gonna love this video right here that walks you through ChatGPT's latest updates that just happened yesterday that now allow you to automate tasks and automate some work that you don't wanna do with their latest and greatest model. Check it out right here.